Hi kids, welcome back to our story time. My name is Alisa Johnson from Florida B. Thomas Library and today's book for our story time is Diary of a Fly by Doreen Cronin and illustrated by Harry Bliss. Okay, let's get reading. Diary of a Fly by Doreen Cronin Pictures by Harry Bliss. June 7th. Tomorrow is the first day of school. I'm so nervous. What if I'm the only one who eats regurgitated food? June 8th. Great news. Everybody eats regurgitated food. June 10th. Things they teach you in flight class. We are most accomplished flyers on the planet. Our average speed is 4.5 miles per hour. Leap backward when taking off. Things they should teach you in flight school. Always have a flight plan. June 12th. My parents left us with a babysitter last night. When they got home, 87 of us were stuck to a strip of flight paper. Mom says we were a lot easier to watch before we grew heads. June 14th. Today we practiced landing on moving targets. I am standing on her head right now. June 15th, my school picture came out terrible. Bob says next time I better have all my eyes looking in the same direction. June 17th, my first science assignment is to use my five senses to observe something creepy. I chose a fifth grader. Disgusting! Five senses observation by fly. See, will not fit in a jar. Feel, sticky. Smell, not so good. Hear, annoying slurping sound. Taste, not so bad. June 18th. Worm and spider came over today. We used a magnifying glass to take a really good look at ourselves. Yogurt, ice cream, root beer, Dust with milk, nut juice, cabbage, egg, no idea, dirt, orange peel, more dirt, still more dirt. Man, we are filthy. Second. July 2nd. I'm making an all about me book for my mom. July 13th. I asked my mom why I can't have my own room like worm. Because you have 327 brothers and sisters. That's why. I told her we could put half of them in the garage to save space. I'm having a time out at the garage right now. July 14th. Spider's grandfather is so smart. He taught me flies were a very important part of the food chain. Very cool. You're very important. July 15th. Worm sat me down and explained the food chain. This is so not cool. July 16th. The babysitter came back last night. She brought a frog. When mom and dad got home, 
We were all exactly where we were when they left. July 21st. Why would I make a good superhero? I have the most powerful flight muscles on the planet. I can land upside down. I can see in all directions at once. I see you, Spider. Spider said, superheroes bend steel with their bare hands. You eat horse manure with your feet. Moments later, hmm, I better save those puppies. Grrr. You're coming home with me, girl. I never thought about it that way. July 22nd. Today I learned that flies beat their wings 200 times per second. No wonder I keep falling asleep in math. July 23rd. I visited my Aunt Rita today. She's been trapped on the wrong side of the screen for a week. My word, how you've grown, dear. August 1st. I just know I would make an excellent superhero. I have 4,000 lenses in each eye. I can walk on walls. I can change directions in flight faster than a blink of a human eye. Spider said superpowers save the world from outer space villains. Your brain has the size of a sesame seed. Zzzup! Moments later. Thanks, superhero girl! I never thought about it that way. August 2nd. Today I told world with Spider that I could never be a superhero like I wanted. Warren looked at me right in my eyes and said, The world needs all kinds of heroes. Spider said, I never thought about it that way. Neither did I. So kids, how'd you like our book, A Diary of a Fly? Stay tuned next week for a new story time. Like, comment, subscribe, and keep on reading. Bye kids!